Hi, so today we're gonna do an experiment. But before we get to that experiment, I wanna tell you guys, don't try none of this at home because it's a little dangerous. And we got some special precautions here so that way nobody gets hurt. So we wanna, we wanna look into the Bible to Daniel 3. If you guys remember in the Bible, Daniel 3, that's where King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, Babylon uh, made the gold statue in his image. And what he did was, he made everybody in Babylon bow down to the statue. You guys remember that story? And you guys remember what happened, right? There were three, Daniel's three friends, Shadrach, Masak, and Abednego, right? All three of them said, no, we're not going to bow down to the statue. Why? Because it's not what God wants. God only wants us to bow down to him. So in this case, the king got angry. He tried it three times, they still did not go. So he grabbed them and put them in a burning fire. And what happened in the fire? Jesus was in there with them. And Jesus was there with them because they believed in Jesus so much that they had to stand up to the king and Jesus protected them in the fire. You guys remember that? Because not only was it any fire, it said that the king increased the heat seven times more than what it normally is. So that means that whoever or whatever was in there was going to be burned. But the key ingredient is there is that Jesus is with you. Now we're going to do an experiment here, right? So I got an empty balloon, which represents us, okay? I fill it up with air. We put it in the fire and it's empty. The balloon's damaged. There's a hole in the balloon, okay? So what does that say? We cannot withstand the fire. The fire is gonna, make, gonna harm us. But what happens, right? I take us again, the balloon, an empty balloon. And here I have a special liquid, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna fill the balloon up with some of this liquid. Okay. Again, don't try this at home. And here we go. Now I'm gonna fill it up with air. All right. So there's liquid in here, okay? So what happens now? I take the same fire, I come up. And what happens to the balloon? It doesn't explode. So we'll try it again, right? There's something in there. So now, The balloon never, ever, the balloon's not hurt. So what happens there is, is that we are the balloon and Jesus is the liquid. So what we have to do is we have to dedicate our time to Jesus so that he can live within us. When Jesus lives within us, nothing can harm us. Even though we saw that the fire harmed both of these balloons, and you guys can see there's a hole in it, okay? There's a hole in this one as well. And not only this one, this one's burned because the fire, the fire is dangerous, it's gonna harm us. But the moment that we're with Jesus, the balloon doesn't look like it was new. It looks like it's been through things, but that's okay because the balloon never breaks. As long as Jesus is within us, we will not be broken. We will not, not, the fire won't get to us. So just like Daniel and his three friends that stood up to the king because they wanted to follow Jesus and not what the king says, God calls us to do the same thing. So what I want to tell you guys is, remember to every day pray. Pray to God to get to know him so that Jesus could fill you up and doesn't matter what type of fire comes into your life, you're going to be able to move forward. It doesn't, the Bible doesn't say that it's going to be easy, but it does say that Jesus will always be with you. And since Jesus is with you, you won't be, you won't be able to break. May God bless you today. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you so much, Lord, for these children. And I ask, Lord, that you please be in their lives. I ask that you fill them up and help them to make the right decisions, Lord. The decisions, Lord, 
to follow you. Bless them, Lord. Be with their families. And Lord, may everything go, go according to your will. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.